Um, here we are. <laughs> so, Extreme Rules ended not some 10 minutes ago. And uh, I'm a little dumbfounded because of the ending. But but before before any 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 of before we even get into that, hello, my name is Jeremy Pierce. Welcome to what just happened. And today we're going to recap. Well, tonight actually we're going to recap Extreme Rules 2021. Uh, <laughs> first of all, this show should be called Regular Rules because there was literally only one match that had an, uh, an extreme stipulation, which was the main event. Might be time to retire this pay per view, so we should be calling this Regular Rules. But first, we had a match on the pre show um, Liv Morgan versus Carmella. And uh, Carmella pretty much hammed it up to get the crowd against her. Now, mind you, Liv really shouldn't have this match because the stipulation was she were to lose to Zelina on SmackDown that she would not get this match. She lost and she still has this match. Anyway, there's not much to write home about, but I'll tell you this. Both women have improved greatly in the ring um especially Carmella and they put on a solid effort they got about eight minutes which was good this was fine the crowd was very very into it they have to do something with Liv Morgan at some point like she has to um she's got to get a push somewhere in some way shape or form but for now let's um let's move over to the main card now before our first match was added excluding Liv and Carmella this show only had five scheduled matches five and then during the pre-show, it was just announced we'll get the New Day taking on Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles, and Omos. Uh, random match. Wouldn't it make sense for Lashley to team up with people that he's he's worked with before? Hmm. Make it just a little bit more believable? Hmm. Mind you, this show did not feature our Intercontinental Champion. He defended his, his title on SmackDown. It did not feature our Raw Tag Team Champions. And the WWE Champion did not have a match. Uh, anyway, this was a good tag match because it features... Ooh, excuse me. It features the New Day. It features... Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles. So this was going to be a good, a, ve a very good match. It was random. It's nothing special. The New Day do win, and later on in the evening, Lashley calls out Big E for a match for the WWE title, which we'll be getting on Raw. It's the opening match. I mean, it's it's a it's a solid. This was a solid match, but I it's just unannounced, thrown together, and then giving it 18 minutes. This could have been like a raw main event. Um, and Lashley took the pin from Big E, so Lashley's probably going to lose to Goldberg at Crown Jewel and then disappear. That's what's going to happen. Our second match of the evening was the Usos defending their tag team championships against the Street Profits. And guess what, y'all? This match did not have a stipulation. So we're three for three so far on this show. Regular rules. Uh... Montez was selling the ribs. They were taped up. As you know, he did get his ass 
beat by Roman and, and the Usos on SmackDown. But this was also a very, very good match. Uh, Ford is unbelievable. The things he can do. And Dawkins is very, very good as, a, as the hot tag. So what you expect to get from those teams, these two teams, you got. Plain and simple. Um, we'll see. The Usos do win. There are a lot of close, close and near falls, but the Usos do win. I mean, they really can't lose the belts at this point. The bloodline is flowing. Bloodline is flowing. They played their heel uh, roles well. They hit Montez Ford with a, I guess you can call it a double super kick. I forget the name of it for with the, when the Young Bucks do it. But this may not be over just because Montez Ford was hurt. And also, SmackDown's tag division is what? The Uso Street Profits Alpha Academy and Dirty Dogs and Ray and Dom. That's what we got. Now, next up, we got Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte. I Now, before I did say I was kind of looking forward to this match, and it wasn't a terrible match at all um i was it was actually believable that alexa alexa could win and she 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 had it early um she you know kept charlotte off her game but charlotte being the better wrestler took control and bliss every time bliss rallied charlotte was still able to fight fight back um Alexa had answers for everything that Charlotte did, and, sure, and, and the same goes for Charlotte. Near the end, end, end of the match, Alexa hit the sunset bomb, the cold rear, whatever you want to call it. But Charlotte got her foot on the ropes. Charlotte then grabbed Lily and used it to. Um, she tossed it at at Alexa, hit the big boot, natural selection, one, two, three. It's a wrap. She retains the championship. After the match, they fight just a little bit more. And then Charlotte takes apart Lily. And Alexa loses it. Um, she foam at the mouth. We'll, we'll see. Um, Charlotte pretty much dominated this match. But, you know, like I said before... Alexa got in fl flurry. She was able to climb out of climb out of jams. We'll see where it goes from here. I don't think this is over. I actually do think that Alexa can win this championship under this gimmick. Because Bray Wyatt won a championship under this gimmick. Um, our next match was the United States Triple Threat match. Damian Priest defending against Sheamus and Jeff Hardy. Now, this quote-unquote match doesn't have a stipulation, but all multi-man matches are no disqualification. So, this is, I guess, a no DQ match? Maybe? Possibly? I'm not really, really sure. But this was this was also really, really good, too. Um... I really did enjoy this match, and uh, every every person did their job well. Damian Priest wasn't losing this match. Uh, Jeff got killed early. He was taken out, and then it just became Sheamus versus Damian Priest, and we've seen this match before, but then Jeff came in being the veteran that he is, and he took control. Um, then there were points where Sheamus controlled, so you know how they how they really does these matches. <sighs> You know how to do these matches where it's almost always a one on one match. But Damien Priest did win with the surprise roll up, the most devastating move in all of sports entertainment. Priest and um, Jeff Hardy showed each other some love after the match. It was good. The crowd really was in, into Jeff. He's a star, he's, he's a legend at this point. It is what it is. 
Next up, we got the SmackDown Women's Championship. Becky Lynch defending against Bianca Belair. Guess what? No stipulation here. Right. Um. <laughs> uh, this was this was a really good match. Uh, essentially, Becky had no answers before Bianca. None at all. Especially early on, she tried to go for all her moves, but Bianca had, knew the tricks and she was countering everything. So at some point, right after uh, Becky got thrown out of the ring, right. You can hear Michael Cole saying, you know, Becky had a plan. She doesn't, she, but Becky doesn't know what she's doing. And she tells Michael, I have a plan, Michael. I got a plan. I know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> she then cheap shot at uh, Bianca, hit a neck breaker. Now she's the control. So, you know how WWE, match, WWE matches are. Now Becky is controlling this match. Uh, but you knew Bianca was never, ever, ever going to be out of it. And Bianca fought her way back. Becky fought her back down. Bianca fought her back, way, uh, way back. Bianca, uh, you know, fought back down. And we were getting a solid match. And then... <laughs> Becky's got the uh, disarmer locked in. Bianca's not going to tap. Bianca counters into the KOD. And then Sasha comes out and causes the DQ. Out of all the endings, I did not have this one picked. I, I legitimately had a winner picked, which was, I believe, Becky. And then Sasha just shows up and causes the DQ. Uh, Anticlimactic. She takes out Bianca. Be Becky's like, are we we good? And then she takes out Becky. So I don't know what's gonna happen next. Probably a triple threat match. I swear to God, they do this triple threat match in fucking Saudi Arabia and be really fucking pissed. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. Sasha's back. I should be more happy, but I'm not because we got to get to this main event. Uh, the Universal Championship being defended in an Extreme Rules match. Oh, look at that. We got our first match stipulation on the show that's supposed to have stipulations. Uh, Roman was defending against the Demer, the Demer, the Demon. But look, this was a, literally a back and forth card. This was a back, this was a back and forth show, uh, match, back and forth, back and forth. They're fighting in the crowd. Kendo sticks, tables. Uh, let's look. Let's. We're not gonna beat around the bush. Finn had this match won, right? And it was a great match leading up until both men are taken out, right? Finn is laid out on the ground, and then the lights flicker with the heartbeat, and then again, and again. And then the music plays, and the demon is resurrected, which I thought was cool. I'm like, okay, he's going to win this match. They honestly had me believe that he was going to win this match. He's taken out the Usos. He's got Roman ready. He goes to the top rope for the coup de gras. And then the top rope just breaks. That's, that's what happened. The top rope breaks. The light cuts back on. Balor selling the knee. Takes a vicious spear. One, two, three. That's it. Um. I. Uh. Yeah. Finn took a 301 assault and was able to come back, but he can't. And he rises from the dead, but he can't overcome the top rope breaking. (sighs) 
I'm at I'm at a loss. I I I, I really am. I <laughs> the WDB loves insulting my intelligence. Our intelligence. I just I'm done. Extreme Rules get to see <laughs> that that happened. <laughs> that happened and um I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Good night.